Hello and welcome back to Two Cam Plays, guys. I am super excited because another Driver vs. Fans video has dropped on the official Monster Jam YouTube channel. This time featuring Ryan Anderson of Son of a Digger and this little guy, Rain, who looks to be the older brother of Faith from the Caleb Blood video that we saw a few weeks ago. Now, this video has actually been showing at Monster Jam events and on the official live streams, but I've actually been unable to capture it up until now because Monster Jam has actually been removing these clips shortly after the live streams end. So, hey, you know what? I have got it now. I'm ready to dive in and do a breakdown. Let's go. <gasps> What's up, Son dude? Give me some fives, man. Okay, first off, Rain is obviously super excited to meet the driver of Son of a Digger, even if he didn't really know Ryan Anderson's name right away. And hey, shout out to this super cool zombie invasion t-shirt he's wearing. Link in the description if you're interested in buying one from the Monster Jam Superstore. After their quick bios, we get a glimpse of the map they'll be racing on. This one's titled Eagle Nest Face-Off in the Rock Valley region of Colorado. And I'm going to reiterate the disclaimer from last time that this is a work in progress because man these trees look rough nothing like the promo images that we've seen so far they're very low detail and you know i know optimization is typically the last thing to be done when you're developing a game so i do have confidence that they will look better as time goes on as the race starts we see that in front of ryan in son of a digger is ice cream man sparkle smash and in the lead is thunder Roris. and in front of rain is raising Kane, the monster jam stunt truck and honestly i'm not sure who is in the lead position that red smoke really obscures it Leave a comment, let me know who you think it might be. We also get a nice view of the track layout in this circuit race. It's kind of an almond shape. Drivers start right here in the middle, and then they have a choice to go either left or right outside lanes down to the bottom of the almond. When they meet up at the bottom of the almond, they go right back up the middle to where the finish line is. I honestly think this is a very interesting track layout, and I'm sure it's gonna create a lot of interesting crashes when the trucks meet up at the bottom of the almond. Speaking of, we actually can see that Ryan took the right path and Rain took the left, and they meet up as Ryan flies off of the berm and almost crashes right into Rain. The boys look like they're having a ton of fun despite being and dead last. <laughs> Let me tell you, if the trees looked bad, this pond makes up for it in spades. The reflections look gorgeous and the mud physics are phenomenal. At least for the whole half a second that we actually get to see it. The video cuts again to the end of the race where Rain takes over Ryan, smashing into the finish line, and they finish in seventh and eighth place. <laughs> How'd you pass me right at the last minute, dude? <laughs> okay, it was a fun race and I'm glad we actually finally got to see a Colorado map in action, but like Ryan says, it's all about freestyle. This map is called the Colorado Freestyle Clash in Colorado Stadium in, you guessed it, Colorado. Uh, did I mention that it was in Colorado? <laughs> anyway, Ryan starts his run with a bit of a failed donut, but then he does get points for a, a great drift. So he did do something right there. My only criticism here is that the camera needs a little bit of tweaking. I was getting a bit motion sick watching it jump from one location to another, but I'm sure that's something that they're working on. Ryan then slams into a backflip container, totally under rotates and winds up on his side but then somehow manages to save it only in the way that I know Son of a Digger can. Again, though, the camera seems to jump around here and there all over the place. I don't know. It just, I didn't like it. Ryan gets some huge air off of some kind of a jump that we didn't get to see and then finishes out his run with a one wheel donut that uh, somehow manages to jump from one side to the other. I don't really understand how that works. <laughs> Before he completes his run, you do get a glimpse of the leaderboard where it very clearly states that Brutus is in first place, Ryan, aka a player name, is in fourth, and who is this in sixth? Why, it's Stone Crusher! Finally confirmed for showdown, and despite Ryan, again, clearly finishing in fourth place, we see a first place splash screen that was obviously taken from a different run. Hey, but that's okay. Ryan can't actually finish in fourth, can he? Okay, time for Rain's run, and you get a good view of the stadium from here. From what I can tell, the starting point is dead center of the stadium, and it is huge. It's a football stadium. That's American football, not soccer. And I'm counting 13 sections of stands just on this one side alone. Just for comparison, AT&T Stadium in Arlington, where I'm from, which is massive, 
has seven sections on each end. Honestly, I wouldn't mind so much if the arena was actually packed with obstacles to hit, but guys, it's like a desert in here. There's huge empty spaces that are not being used all around the outside edge, and even in the middle, there are big gaps between the obstacles, and it all just feels kind of thrown in there without much forethought. I gotta say, I'm not really a huge fan of this stadium layout, and really, I hope they reconsider the design, maybe add a few more obstacles or shrink it down some. It's just too big. Hey, but none of that is Rain's fault. He actually utilizes that empty space to get some good speed up with zombie and he smashes into the backflip ramp pulls off a nice backflip over rotates and then uh, the camera does something really weird and the truck ends up flying into the air for no apparent reason whatsoever <sighs> You do get another look at the ginormous stadium, and oh wait, who is this on the leaderboard? Jester! Okay, so someone in the comments stated that they've known about Jester for a while now, but hey, as far as I know, it's all just been rumor and speculation up to this point. So I don't know, take it for a grain of salt. At least we know for sure Jester is confirmed. All right, so Ryan finishes out this video by saying, if you've never had a Monster Jam game, I can promise you, this one is the one to get. <laughs> okay, Ryan. Whatever you say, man. The Milestone TikTok account has also put out a few short clips as well. The first clip is a still shot of Zombie in that same Colorado stadium. And man, does it ever look barren. I know that they put the work in progress WIP disclaimer on this shot as well, but it's obviously a design choice to make the stadiums this huge. The next is this short clip of Megalodon doing some freestyle moves and yeesh, this looks bad. First off, Meg does an endo front flip over some crush cars and and okay, look, I've done plenty of endo front flips in my freestyle runs, so I get it. There's nothing unrealistic about that. But when the front flip lands, the suspension almost has no impact physics. Like it's very, very stiff, or, or maybe like it's almost a Spin Master toy or something. I don't know if they just didn't have the physics enabled or maybe they're still working on it. I don't know, but it looks extremely unrealistic. The front tires also come down on the shipping containers off to the side, but then they hit an invisible wall and do kind of like this skateboard grind off the wall for a ways before the truck finally corrects itself and seems to come into contact with the ground again. <sighs> Then we cut to Meg, and you know, guys, I think this is my least favorite clip of all of them. We cut to Meg hitting this ramp, and the front end splays open like some kind of alien mouth. I won't post a picture here because I don't want any little kids to have nightmares, but my first thought was the Predator alien from the movie Predator. Not a good image for Megalodon, guys. All it would really take is just a rework on the damage model in the front end. Uh, because you don't really want you want it to go blah, wide open like a mouth. It's 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 weird. It's weird. <laughs> Then to add insult to injury, the truck just kind of hovers in place for a while to give it enough time to complete an impossible backflip. It's a cheeky trick that I know from Steel Titans. Honestly, I just don't think it's gonna go over all that well with fans because that was a major complaint about Steel Titans. Then Meg does this normal backflip. My only complaint with this is again, the wonky camera work bouncing around all over the place. And we finish it off with a donut, which, uh, okay, I don't know who's running the Milestone TikTok account, but whomever they are, <laughs> no offense, but clearly they have no idea how to relate to Monster Jam fans. Case in point, this video of Max D, which starts off with the question, is this a donut or a mighty Monster Jam truck? And then it cuts to Max D doing some donuts and says both. Like, what? <laughs> then of course, someone in the comments said, well, actually, those are called cyclones. To which Milestone responded, we thought they were donuts. And a little donut emoji. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Last clip and then we'll wrap up. This one has a dude with sunglasses looking up at the sky, moving for his head from left to right. And then we cut to Gravedigger hitting a jump at high speed and then blasting off into the stratosphere on the Alaska circuit race map that we've already seen. The caption reads, we love hashtag Monster Jam Showdown, especially when the circuit becomes a flyby option. <sighs> okay, so here's the problem. In every single video that I've seen for Showdown, at least one person has mentioned how floaty the physics look or complained about the unrealistic physics in some way. This isn't Mario Kart, guys. We actually don't want shortcuts where we can hit this ramp and skip over half of the track by flying through the atmosphere. 
I think what Milestone is trying to do here is showcase the crazy, insane stunts that you can perform. Because, you know, honestly, that's just the low attention span, Gen Alpha, TikTok mindset. That's just how things work these days. And I get it. You've got to one up the last guy by making the next chick more insane than the last. I get it. But seriously, as a true gamer and Monster Jam fan, Milestone, if you're listening and you have the time to correct this, please do something about the physics. We don't want a simulation. You know, we have BeamNG and Rigs of Rods for that kind of thing. But we're not looking for crazy, wild, insane, floaty backflips doing multiple backflips at a time. We don't want over the top high wire stunts. A nice blend between realism and arcade action would be great. I'd rather have that than super over the top high wire stunts. Listen, all complaints aside, I genuinely have enjoyed all of the content that has been released for Showdown overall. But, and I only say this because I genuinely want this game to succeed, I do have some serious concerns from what I've seen so far. Anyone who's watched my channel for any length of time knows that I just don't like negativity and I hate criticizing anyone. Mostly because I know I've got plenty of things to be criticized for myself. I'm passionate about gaming, I'm passionate about monster trucks, and I really, really, really want this game to do well. I know it's a work in progress, but hey, the clock is ticking. We've got a little over three months until the August release date, and we've yet to see any clips longer than six seconds. I'm Still excited to play Showdown, and I've been waiting very, very impatiently for my chance to pre-order the Collector's Edition on Steam, which, as of recording, still is not available. But until then, I'm going to keep a healthy dose of optimism and excitement for a Monster Truck game that, if nothing else, will give me an opportunity to play all of my favorite Monster Trucks and share it with you guys. Hey, until next time, have fun Monster Trucking, and hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side!